Okay, so I just took off the lid basically. So you and I are just gonna see what's cooking underneath here. Three, two, one. Who? No. Stop, drop, pop one time. I just want to see you hit that right before the bar. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Kalipa and welcome to my little corner right here on the YouTube sphere. Um, I think I'm going to sing my theme song which I've been thinking about for a while now. So, okay, here we go. One, two, three, gotta yo, you. Yeah. Uh huh, you know what it is, Kalipa, 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 Kalipa. <laughs> that just might be my theme song. I think I just want to give a young shout out to Jackie Aina. She she was really the one who gave me the inspiration. You know, just to be like, actually, I like that. Like when you would say Jackie, 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 Jackie. Then I'm also just like, actually, like this is how you stand out in the crowd. This is how you do it. So that might just be my theme song. So if you hear me sing it, I hope it's going to stick to your mind and it's going to be synonymous with me. And I don't know, then I hope that just it's going to mean that you'll come back for more. <laughs> so as you figured probably by the title of this video, today we are going to be unboxing the goodies that I won from Glamour Magazine as I am the winner of their Glamour Beauty School Presenter Set. This is I, this is me. Um, I was the final grand total winner. So not only did I win makeup to the value of 3,000 rand, but I'm going to film a couple of my tips and hacks and tricks with Glamour Magazine um, roughly next year, around about like end Jan, early Feb, somewhere there. So yeah, you're going to catch me on, you know, the Glamour sphere, giving you guys some of my tips and what makeup things that I do and the hacks that I use to get my crusty face looking not like this. <laughs> but for today, I just want to show you guys what's in the box. Um, I hope you'll keep watching. I'm going to be sharing, I don't know, just a couple of things that I will probably find myself reusing outside of their original purpose i think as a student i've always had to work with what i've got so generally with the stuff i've seen in here i already can see that i can use it for a couple of other things that aren't really for their intended use if that makes sense so without further ado let's get into it but wait before we do actually have you subscribed to my channel have you like have you have you have you <laughs> if you haven't i mean it's okay like it's fine but i mean it would be really great if you did if you just hit that subscribe button like right there you know just just that young click would, would be great would be great and of course please engage with me you know give me some of that love by giving my video a like please comment below if you're finding this video really cool or if there are any products from nyx that you really love and enjoy anything that you think i might need to grab my hands on to complete my really really big makeup collection box already but without further ado, brrr, okay, I can't do the drum roll. Brrr, brrr, brrr. Let's get into it. Okay, so I already pulled out some of the stuff from the box because I am moving. As you can see, it's quite empty. My roommate already left today. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I've had to box away some of my stuff. And I needed to take out some of the important makeup from, from here. Um, because I'm graduating actually this weekend and I need some of the makeup in this box but the box just doesn't fit um, in terms of me having to move around with it so I just need to put it in storage for now up until I leave on Monday officially but okay enough chitter chatter on that because this is not a chatty un unboxing so first things first the big and most fabulous thing that I got this is the NYX Beauty School Dropout um eyeshadow and face color palette listen okay so this is what it it, it it comes out in this okay it it is the cutest thing i have ever seen okay it looks like a diary of sorts like you know like the diaries you get from typo with this little string thing as well i think it is so cute the packaging whoever thought of this packaging like thank you you should you should get a raise or something yeah so this diary looking thing really really i love the packaging like honestly i love it even better when you open it up so there you open right and there you've got the mirror and i honestly love the fact that they give you like a day look to like try out and then they give you like a night 
time look to try out with what you've got in terms of like the eyeshadow. I really like that idea because you know I open and so here are okay all the shades. So there are all the shades of okay, let's just do that. There are all the shades of eyeshadows like right there. So as you can see, it's like quite a lot of there's like 35. There's 35 eyeshadow shades. And, you know, me, I'm just like, I don't know how and what colors are going to mix together. But I really love the fact that they just put in a bit of like a guide of sorts just to help me get started. And then over here, we've got like the blushes, Ooh, the blushes over here on top, the illuminating powders over here, and then like your contour powders over here. So I'm really, really chuffed with this. This honestly, like if you see me walking around on campus with this, like, it's not a diary, okay? This is just, it's, it's, it's my, I think it's just gonna be my go-to makeup thing. Just because I love it. It's diary-sized. It honestly would fit my backpack, my handbag, my wherever. This, I love this thing, okay? Next up, we have got my NYX Contouring Cheek and Contour Palette. So, opening it up. I think this is what people use, like, to contour and then, you know, to cut the cheek. I'm assuming is the case with this product. So that's what it looks like inside. Um, I see this and I look already I feel like I can do some eyeshadow things here. Um, it, I don't know. But you know, we're going to see. We're going to work with it. We're going to see how it works and rolls and how I can create cool cut cheek things. Um, and then we've got the Strobe of Genius. I saw this at the next store opening at the V&A. And a, I saw this and I was like, this looks like it would be not only like an illuminating palette, but honestly, like the a, a glittery eyeshadow. Like you can do a couple of eyeshadow things with this, especially like that purple. I feel like you could eyeshadow do some. I don't know how. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out together eventually in the future. But the way I see it, like I see this is gold and this was exactly the gold I needed for my graduation look that I'm trying to compile. So I am super chuffed that I've got this. I'm going to, I think I'm going to be shining guys when I'm graduating, you know, shining, 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 shining. Okay. No, I should, I shouldn't sing guys. I don't know why I keep singing, but I really shouldn't do it. Okay. Moving along to the actual what is in the box okay so another thing that i'm super super excited about this is the nyx ultimate shadow palette now let's open this baby up and we have got all these incredibly which really look quite pigmented actually um colorful eyeshadow and i'm gravitating towards the blue from my eyes even this green i i don't know but that blue though that blue is looking incredibly beautiful. Um, I really, really wanted the neon, the LA Girl neon palette from Deskem because they had that three for two special running, but everybody took that neon palette. So I never got the chance to actually buy it. And I was really, really actually sad about it. But now that I see that I've got this, now I'm just like, LA Girl neon palette for who? For what? <laughs> now I'm, I'm happy like i'm super chuffed and i think of all the looks that i'm thinking of creating i'm really really excited to mess around and play around with like the bottom two rows i think those are really like lovely peachy everyday type of colors that you'll normally find me like trying out but i think you know now that it's summer pulling through i think i want to be a little bit more bold in terms of what i'm going to do for my eyes so yeah I, i'm gravitating towards that blue i think that blue Ooh, I might I might just snatch somebody. I don't know who, but I might snatch someone. <laughs> and then, okay, so we've got the Epic Ink Liner right over here. I didn't take this with me because I'm currently using the Revlon. They, they have like that gel in a bottle thing. And for me, I just, I like to first finish a product before I use the next one. I don't, I don't know if I'm not, am I the only one who does that? Is there somebody out there who also just likes to finish a product first? before going out to go buy another one um but yeah so i've got the epic ink liner in black and then i have a colored felt liner so this one is in blue and i have another one here which is like a green like dark dark green 
those are also just quite bold colors because i i haven't really done colored liners in, in a while and a half so really really skeptical but also like intrigued to try this out and see what i'm going to come up with with these ink liners um another thing i've got in here is the nyx pro lip cream palette to be truly 110 percent honest i don't know how um, <laughs> okay so it's a okay it's lip cream so i'm so used to lipsticks you know glossy lipsticks matte lipsticks matte okay i did say matte so this is i I'm, i don't know like so okay it's for my lips of course but so it's what the texture is going to be different so it's not going to be matte it's going to be creamy but not so creamy i don't know i'm interested like i'm intrigued by this because i have no idea actually how i'm supposed to use this but okay we have this one as well um then we've got five lip of the day liquid liners this is really interesting because i don't know you can do like liquid lip liners but when i turn around and see the picture like at the back so you can see so basically it's like you do like a dark lip and then outline it with like these things just to give you i don't know like really interesting dimensions to your lips so i have one in red i have one in purple i've got one in like this cute pink i have one in this really interesting like gold i almost want to say like green gold but i think it's yellow gold maybe would be a better color and i have one in like a nudish type of a color now when i actually opened the box and i saw these i was like okay lip liners sure these also seem like they could pass off as eyeliners believe it or not Th that's that's where my mind also sort of kind of went to is that i think i could maybe make my eyes do some things with this i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna experiment guys you and i we're gonna take a beautiful nyx filled journey and experiment with these okay um okay things i'm also really happy about super super stoked about i got not one but two duo chromatic illuminating powders okay first of all so this one is in the synthetica it is like a peach not peach apricot like an orange not but not burnt orange but I, I don't know it's just like a peachy orange type of an illuminating powder really happy about that super super stoked about it second i've got this so this one is in the color lavender steel and it's definitely giving me like lavender purple steel vibes super happy and stoked about it because i i know like you get different colors in terms of illuminating powders now but i was always under the impression that you, you'd have your base colors which is more like your gold um your pearly white colors um so this one is a bit like interesting to me because it's like a purple and i'm just like i don't know because my undertones are a bit more warm as opposed to cool so i'm interested to use this just to see like how it's going to play out on my face again i'm also very much predicting how i'm going to use these as eyeshadows because guys i think i'm trying to like have glossy glittery banging eyes this summer season so i'm definitely predicting that i'm probably going to use these on my lids some way somehow okay moving on to lips because oh wait no let's just finish the eyes i got one two three three eye pigments so i've got one in like this cool blue again i'm gravitating towards this and that ultimate shadow blue just i don't know like i think who was it it was me Lally, right she did like this midnight blue um tutorial type of a thing and i, I think i want to give that a try using these nyx products so we're gonna see how that works then i've got this like green again this green and i'm thinking you know what with this pen maybe we might have something going on here maybe i don't know we're gonna see and then hey to the vegas baby this is another nyx pigment really really love this one like a silvery yeah silver but not like even silver because i'm also seeing like undertones of okay i know you can't see it now but you're gonna see it when i make these looks there's like this silver but also like really not really champagne but maybe champagne there's like an undertone here to it i don't know but it's really really gorgeous i i think i'm excited 
for these two just to make some sort of like disco ball type of eyes <laughs> and then finally lips guys and who am i sorted for lips okay i've got one two three butter lipsticks so i've got this really gorgeous coral red yeah like a coral red vibe very very much spring summer i predict me using this for sure and then of course a nude guys like i i love absolutely love nude lips i think it's just it's the easiest for me especially being a student if you know give me good easy simple like 10 minute max looks i don't actually really take 10 minutes anymore now because oh, there's actually so much to do on your face but it's always such a good idea to just do a nude lip because i know like what, no matter what my eyes look like if i have a simple cat eye i can always just do a nude lip and really no one in my class is going to bother okay no one's going to come at me i'm gonna be fine um yeah i think a nude lip for sure i i this is probably one of my signature looks is just having a nude lip and then here we've got like this berry plum type of a color and i'm seeing this is very like autumn winter i see me doing this in autumn winter very like rich lip and simple eyes type of a thing going on with very like monochromatic clothes we're gonna see guys i can't wait for you and i to walk in this mix makeup journey of creating looks even though i have no idea what i'm doing because am i a makeup artist no i just i watch youtube videos just like you guys um here we have got nyx cosmic metals okay so this is lips i look i was not feeling do i say feeling i wasn't sure i wasn't sure of the metallic lip trend that was going on i wasn't sure if it was going to be good looking on my skin um i think i'm more like on the girly side so i prefer more like creamy lips give me matte lips i'll be fine and give me simple colors you know let's not do fancy jazz let's just keep it simple and then people started doing these metallic lips and i was like oh How do people make that work because i i i certainly don't know how i would make it work on my face but now i've got two this is what speed of light and this is retro harmony so i'm really glad that actually first of all they're more neutralish colors in terms of like this is like a deep deep rose gold almost type of a color and this one is leaning more towards like a brown but light brown nude dark nude so i'm really really happy that i'm kicking these cosmic metallic lip trend thing off with light colors because if i got bold like a blue or i got a red i i don't know what i i don't know how i don't know what i do i don't know <laughs> you gotta ease into these makeup looks sometimes and the trends that the world just goes nuts about um then we've got some butter intense butter glasses so i've got here we got one two we have got three we have got four we've got four and then i have got a lip lustre lustre um i think this is a i'm not actually sure if it's a gloss I, think I would i'm under the impression that it's a gloss you and i will see it when i unpack and actually start doing a full face of nyx but that is pretty much it all these glosses that i've got going on which pretty much means i'm sorted for i just want to say I'm, i feel like i'm sorted for the rest of my life honestly it feels like i am that i i just i'm i don't think i'm ever gonna buy any more makeup after this but um yeah that is pretty much it and I wonder when I'll start. Maybe, maybe I'll. Okay, because they will come home with me. So maybe I'll get my sisters to just do a little something with these. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see you and I. But otherwise, thank you so, so much for tuning into this video of me just unboxing what I received. I cannot, honestly, I just, I can't wait to get started on the looks that I'm going to come up with. And I feel like I've got all holiday to figure it out and watch YouTube videos and practice 
and 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 i will do my best to make sure i record all the shenanigans i come up with in terms of these makeup looks and okay don't judge me because i don't know a lot about makeup i don't i just i keep things super super simple but this is daring me to step out of my simple comfort zone and experiment with bolder colors bolder lips bolder eyes you know let's let's try carve some cheekbones and chins and like let's try sculpt the face on this crusty one that's looking at you right now <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning in if you totally dug i okay i think we've just established it's dug right i don't know how to say digged if you digged no if you dug this video then please give me a big old thumbs up please comment below on any of the next products that you are currently enjoying is there anything from next that you think i should probably grab my hands on because i don't get a foundation so there's no foundation here there's no concealer here um no mascaras there's no eyebrow um anything so if you think that maybe hey you might need a eyebrow this so you might need a foundation for this or you know just let me know so that i can you know give it a try and really actually do like a full face of nyx on my face because that would be really cool i'd love to do a full face nyx review type of a video makeup look but until next time which is going to be after graduation i will catch you on my next video love light bye